We have many tools available to us and to our students within the Google Apps domain. Besides just documents and sites, if you go up to the top and have your students click on more, we have tools like Aviary where you can do podcasts, Creately where you can do brainstorming, Stupaflix Studio where you can create videos. And if you go to even more, you can access many of the Google tools. One of these that can be very useful is Google Maps. Now most of us are used to using Google Maps to find directions to some place, but they're much more powerful than that. Once a student is logged into Google Maps using our domain, they can go click on My Places, and they can actually create their own maps. So this way they can actually mark places and put information, content, into the map, such as pictures, videos, presentations, all kinds of things on top of the map instead of just using the maps that are there. This is one example of a high school in Pasick Hills, New Jersey that used Google Maps to create an immigration map. And on this map, because it was a shared map, it allowed students to put place marks and tell their history of immigration or how their families came to the country and they even labeled them by color so you could see the years that those families came to America and their story and where exactly they were from on the map. Now once again, if students want to create a map, or you want them to create a map, they click on Create Map, title it, and they can put it in the description, save it. And now you have these place marks so you can take and you can zoom into where you want or you can search for where you want and you can actually take that place mark and put it wherever it is that you want to locate it on the map. I can title it. And I can type in information about that place. I can even use the rich text editor which kind of looks like Google Docs so it will allow me to add links, highlight things, put in pictures. And I can even use Edit HTML, which would allow me to embed things. So, for example, I could embed a video here, or I can embed a, pres embed a presentation that I did in Google Docs. And those will display right on my map. I can get a direct link to this map by clicking on this button. And I can send my map using this button. If you're creating the map and you want students to collaborate with you, just like we've talked about with other Google tools, you would click on collaborate and you would put the students in here and send invitations and then they would automatically be able to add things to your group map. 